Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars with Earl and Nancy Stewart. Reach them with your questions at 877-960-9960. This is a mystery shop. We sent Agent C up to Stewart to pay Bill Smith Key a visit and find out if he could get $2,000 over Kelly Blue Book for his trade, 0% for 75 months, and $4,000 off a new Kia. Agency bought his uh, wife's 2011 Toyota Sienna LE with 139,000 miles to pose as his trade. We appraised it. The actual cash value we felt, market value, wholesale, was $7,000. Now here's a report. Agency arrives with his son and the 2011 Sienna is greeted by a salesperson named Corey. He tells Corey he saw the ad and was excited to take advantage of the offers. Agency explains he doesn't want to run the, his credit yet but tells him his credit score is over 700. They discuss vehicles. Agency is open to any vehicle in the $20,000 price range and end up deciding on a new 2018 Kia Nero. The manager sent agency off to test drive the Nero with Corey while they appraise the Sienna. They return. Corey points out the sticker price of $27,705 and says that agency will be happy with the final numbers. Agency does not notice that the real MSRP is $24,710. Another manager, presumably a closer, came out with a worksheet to review numbers. The top line was, here we go again, DSRP, dealer suggested retail price, $27,705. Then they took off a $750 cash incentive. So you feel good. You think you're getting a discount off of MSRP Keep or not. Coming. After that, a 3000 $250 preferred customer discount. Wow, I didn't expect that. He didn't know he was preferred. He didn't know about the dealer cash. And so so he, he's feeling warm and fuzzy now, not knowing what the DSRP really was. The closer pointed out that the $750 incentive plus the $3,250 preferred customer discount equaled the $4,000 off the promise in the end. So they fulfilled their promise through total subterfuge by inflating the price calling it dealer suggested instead of manufacturer suggested to trick the customer. Next came the trade allowance. The trade allowance of 5751 bucks. This was noted on the worksheet. Remember, we appraised that vehicle for 7000 So they stole the trade. They cut the trade allowance. This was noted on the worksheet that it consisted of an appraisal of $3,751, about half what the car's really worth. So they appraised which they didn't really do. They said the vehicle was worth 37.51, really worth about twice that. Plus the promise 2000 over. So the 2000 over still left them a couple thousand short of what the vehicles were really worth. Note, Kelly Blue Book trade-in value for this vehicle in good condition is 5841. They added a $898.50 pre-delivery service fee. Pre-delivery service fee is uh, obviously a dealer fee. He said that cannot be taken off can't be taken off because they don't want to take it off. Next came sales tax and a $365.35 registration fee, and the out the door was 20401 On the right-hand side of the worksheet with some financing options, there was 0% for 60 months, but not for the 75. Okay, here's a summary. How they do with each of the three offers. $2,000 over Kelly Blue Book. Even in fair condition, Kelly Blue Book gives it a trade-in value of 5235 In fair condition. It was in good condition. If they honored the offer, agency should have gotten an appraisal between 7235 and 7841 Not honored. Yeah. Not even close. Clear deception. Okay, next offer is 0% for 75 months. The, the worksheet only showed 0% being available 60 months. Uh, whether that was just an oversight or a deliberate uh, deception, I don't know. Final offer, $4,000 off any new Kia. Best Smith Kia has jacked up the price by adding nearly $3,000 to the MSRP, $2,995 to be exact. The MSRP is $24,710. So they just inflated the real suggested retail by almost $3,000. They created an arbitrary DSRP, dealer suggested retail price of $27,705. The discount comes off the inflated price, so it's not really a discount. Then they added $898 dealer fee, and the effective selling price is $24,603, just $107 less 
than MSRP. Now, who's going to buy a car today from any car dealer uh, for a hundred dollar discount off MSRP? Nobody pays sticker for the car. Nobody pays MSRP for the car, and that's what essentially. So the fantastic offer yep. was almost MSRP. Well, you know, here we are. Don't ever respond to a car dealer's ad. TV is probably the most deceptive because it's so easy to hide the fine print. If you do an online ad, sometimes if you blow the screen up or you get a magnifying glass, uh, even a newspaper ad, sometimes you can read the fine print. On TV, there's no way you're going to get the fine print. So there you have it. Hi, this is Earl Stewart. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to be notified of new videos that we post to our YouTube channel, simply click on the subscribe button at the lower right-hand side of the screen. Earl Stewart.